In today's Healthier Me, the holidays are nearly here. And joining us today is Sanford Director of Health Ministries, Lois Ustanko, talking a little bit about advanced care directives, end of life decisions, and why the holidays are a good time to have these sometimes uncomfortable conversations. Lois, first, thank you for joining us today. I guess a lot of people would probably start with saying, I just, I'm not going to talk about it because it's uncomfortable. But tell us why it's important to have this conversation. Well, it is important. And as you said, this is not just for the elderly or the very ill. It's really for all adults 18 years of age and older. It is important because we have situations where something happens suddenly to someone and they lose the ability to speak for themselves. And no family member is prepared to step forward and, and speak for them. They don't know the preferences that the individual would want. And it's very stressful to be put in that position without having had a conversation. The holidays are a great time because extended family members are together. And oftentimes you then have the opportunity to just talk a little bit about, um, you know, if something happened to you suddenly and someone had to speak for you, what is the care that you might want to receive? What is the care you might not want to receive? And um, identifying who would speak for you and um, perhaps explaining why you would want that individual to speak on your behalf. Those steps are probably some of the greatest gifts you can give your family. So this is gift giving time and identifying an agent, expressing your preferences, really having a conversation, allowing them to ask questions of you and getting to the point where you put that information within a written document called the healthcare directive are the greatest gifts you could probably give your family. Would that be a good way to start the conversation? I feel like that might be the scariest part. You know, how do you even start the process? Well, certainly, uh, you know, you want to introduce and, and talk with people, express that you love them, um, that you do know of people. You know, we see people getting in car accidents. We, ha we have older individuals that have strokes and that, you know, it's important for all of us. I would like to share some information with you about what I would like if I were in the hospital and couldn't speak for myself and you had to speak for me, but I'd also like to get some information from you. Okay, Lois, thank you so much for uh, joining us, giving us a little advice, and of course, telling us, you know, the benefits of having this conversation now is definitely the perfect time to do it when everyone's yeah, together. I, I think one point also is it can be difficult, and there are trained facilitators all over the community and, and other communities, surrounding communities as well. And so I think that that would be a good next step if someone does start the conversation over the holidays to get to the point where they can actually put information in a directive. I'd reach out to trained facilitators in Fargo-Moorhead, Stanford, Essentia, Hospice, most of the nursing homes do have trained facilitators can, that can assist with that process. There are people there to help. It doesn't have to be difficult or scary. Yeah. Good reminders. Thank you so much for your time. Thank you. Have a great day. We'll be right back.